All right, guys, I'm going to show you all the cool things you can do on the day two of our One Point Aquariums. So you do have a packet here. You can start looking up some ideas for what you want to put in there as far as your sea life, uh, animals, and then coral, seaweed, all that kind of cool stuff that you can add to it. Okay, so I want you guys to add at least five or six things to your work, so whether they be fish or they seaweed, uh, something you're adding to it. Now for mine, I've been working on it here. I did do some lines in the background to kind of show more depth. You don't have to do that, but if you'd like to, you can. It's kind of like the, the seabed or the ground. Uh, around the top here is where you can do the animals. Now you do have to know this. If you're going to do an animal and you want to make it look realistic, uh, if you're going to do it back in this area here, I want you to do them smaller. As you get further out into these areas here, uh, it's going to get a lot larger. Even down here, it's going to be larger as well. Okay, Because out from the distance here, everything gets a little bit smaller, or it looks smaller. So I would do some pencil drawing first. I was working on a shark here, and then I had a jellyfish over here. Uh, here's the very important part. So once you have it drawn in pencil, uh, use a thinner Sharpie for this. You would not want to use a larger one to go on top. You're going to lose all those cool details. So you want to go down. Over here it's good to use these, uh, but not over here. You're just going to, like I said, lose all those details and it's not going to look probably the way that you wanted it to look. So you're going to go outline it with the Sharpie and that will help bring it um, forward so you can actually see it and you're a little bit more sure of your lines. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick outlining here of what I drew a little bit ago. Okay. Once you have that done, uh, you got a couple different options with coloring. Uh, I recommend colored pencils. You're going to get a lot more detail, uh, but you could use uh, crayons. Crayons go down pretty easy, but as you get further off here, it's really hard to get uh, really detailed with this work. Okay, So colored pencils are a really good option. For my shark here, I'm just going to do a layer uh, of gray. start adding um, the paint to it. So the paint is the very last step. Okay, You want to have everything drawn, everything with color before you do this part. And you're going to start adding the paints in there. Now blue is going to be your, your go-to, but some people like uh, a blue-green. So if you want to mix the blue and the green, that's fine with me. But when you go to do your painting here, do a smaller brush. Don't You don't need to do a larger brush. And I'm just going to paint around this jellyfish to kind of show you how I would do this. So I'm going to get my paints going here. And I'm going to get a little color down uh, next to it. This is really strong here right now. And I don't want it to be that strong, so I'm going to use water to lighten the value. Okay. And this is nice paper, so it's going to blend really nice. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of push things around. Um, you got to be kind of careful that you don't go too dark on this, because we don't want to cover up anything here. Since it is uh, colored pencils on this here, I'm going to be very careful that it's um, that I lighten it up. So I'm going to go a little bit over top of it, um, but I might. I, I'm just using water right now to go over top, but it has that kind of effect now that it looks like it's glass over it without covering it up. Okay, so it's got that perfect blue there. Um, if you do go a little too dark with it, um, get a paper towel and you're just going to dab at it. That'll take the color and the water out a little bit, so you can kind of try again. So you just kind of go here, go a little bit over top of it to add that effect. Okay. Now here's another thing that if you'd like to try out, you don't have to, um, but as you're painting here, I do have, have some of this off to the side, some salt effects that you can add to it. So you just pinch it, and you can put it in little areas where it's wet. Uh, it's going to create kind of like a bubble effect or a crystallized effect in your work. What you don't want to do though is, is just dump a bunch on there. But you're just doing just a little bit here and there where it's wet. Okay. And what you do is you just let it alone. You're going to let that dry on the drying rack. And then when it's finished, we'll just wipe it off. And those uh, kind of looks like bubbles, I guess, too, uh, will, will show and appear on there. And you might be able to see it as you're working there as well. 
All right, guys, can't wait to see how you do on your work today.